thank you, Curtis. I can tell you with all of the different events and these forums that we go to, uh, this is a great turnout. I think this is probably the most full room that we've had yet. And so thank you for all the organizers, everybody who's put this on, and all of you for coming out tonight. Um, let me first start by taking a moment uh, to allow us all to drink in the amazing historic building that we're in right now. Memorial Hall, built in 1908 to honor our uh, military veterans at that time uh, by, the, by Hamilton County. I mean, look at this woodwork and the stenciling and the floors outside. Once these gems are gone, they're gone. I moved to Cincinnati and to Over the Rhine uh, seven, nearly eight years ago because this is an amazing, historic, walkable, urban neighborhood. We have many throughout the, uh, throughout the city. OTR gets most of the attention. Um, but in my building that I moved into, which is an infill uh, construction building, we have four historic buildings attached um, as our HOA president that I'm responsible for. They're like my babies. Built in the late, teen, uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. I also uh, own a property in the Detroit Lofts building, which I think most of you know is the uh, anchor of the Betts Longworth Historic District in the West End, built uh, by the Longworth family again in the late 1800s. These uh, buildings do not stay by accident. We have to be purposeful about that. Uh, and, and I led the effort, uh, along with a, a number of others, uh, unfortunately unsuccessful effort to save the Denison, uh, which by the way was uh, designed by the Hannaford firm, if not Samuel Hannaford himself, uh, as was the Memorial Hall here. That building is in a historic district. It's not simply enough to uh, draw a line on a map and consider it done. I mean, the fact of the matter is that we did have a demolisher appointed to the Historic Conservation Board. You can connect the dots from the campaign donations, right, to a building in the First Street Historic District being demolished. And it's no coincidence uh, how that vote went at the Historic Conservation Board. Now, I can also suggest to you that there's something that we can do on council besides just rally people and allow the money interest to steamroll us, no matter how many of us there are. We don't have to approve these city manager appointments. We can vet them as council members. Okay, that particular individual was passed eight to one, supported by an eight member majority of council with a history. I'm suggesting to you that on council, we're gonna take a look at these board members. You're not going to get a free pass. There's not gonna be a direct connection from the, from the campaign finance report to these board appointments. Because these people are not responsible to anybody after they're appointed. We have time. They do yeah. what they want. So with that, um, I suggest to you that uh, you need a fighter on city council. I'm gonna be that individual. Uh, we're gonna save our historic treasures. <laughs>